Oh, what? Get it. In that conflict was beyond adequate. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Starfield. Oh, is this another? Uh, okay, it's an amp. All right, don't know what that does. Just like so much in this game, it doesn't tell you anything. You got to figure it out on your own or look at YouTube videos. I have to say that that is a disappointing part of the game. It's like there's not enough of a tutorial. Although, I think we're about to get into one now when it comes to piloting the ship. But anyhow, that's enough from me for now. Let's get into some role play. Captain Hill, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Well, actually, I've never flown a, a vessel before. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, Said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Oh, I suppose that was supposed to be a joke. All right, what else have we got? Did you pick? Right. Let's get out of this uh, space suit. Okay, got some choices here. We can hide the space suit in settlements. before we lift off. There we go. Now I get 10% extra experience. I'm sure they're wondering why we haven't left yet. There was a way to holster this gun. Maybe I, do I just unequip it? There we go. Just can't have. Okay, there they go. My arms at at my side. All right. What else? What else do I need to do? I think I need some favorites.
to favorite some of these uh, med packs. take off. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Okay. Here goes everything. ship systems and to allocate power. Okay, so... So these are lasers. This must be... system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. or temporary bursts of speed.
destroyed by now. So to travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system, zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled planets. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at a time. At once. So distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. Is this where we're headed? This is where we, we left. Okay, here we go. Crete. Set course. All right, here we go. about the environment 
lets you scan the planets for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view. Then select the map icon to land there. my survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features, such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. What the hell are those? According to the scan bus, the abandoned research facility is in this direction.
and violent. All right, I need to get my fitness up. Like there's nothing for us to scavenge out here. Come on. Oh, are they a 
about the scene. Different caliber of ammo. Two pistols. Vasco. That's cold. Beginnings. I can't believe it. I got the post in the United Colony Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at mass, but it's long overdue and I get to be part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xeno Biology Technician and I ship out in three days. Amanda is upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and will be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm not sure where I'm going, definitely somewhere in the United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. I don't know if I want to read all this. Candidate 1. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today, what appeared to be an alien form of... Okay, I don't speak whatever language that is. Essentially a giant spider. Michelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon and we had no choice but to put down the creature a minor setback none of us expected success on the first try i heard dr paulson tell the others 
that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. Oh my, I, I think that's enough. What is this? Shotgun shell. Spiced worms. Seems to give adequate amount of health. Alright, Vasco, I hear you pacing. We're about to leave. A safe. Okay, I'll take the digi pick. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock pick. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. So... Wow. Okay, there, that's how I choose the one, the locks. This will work. Okay. did it. Alright, we'll take this ammo. What does this do? A steroid based performance enhancer designed to temporarily boost leg strength. Okay. Calm relay. Could be used as a component in crafting. What the? A kraken. Take it. Okay, let's get out of here.
look. The heck? What? No! <laughs> All right, they know we're here. just can't help looking at everything. There could be something valuable. people have I killed and now you're gonna say we're not alone. What is an equinox? Well, find out one day. I killed. somebody's around here somewhere. Sure, I'm probably leaving stuff behind and it probably be valuable, but I can't worry about that right now. Just need to make sure we get out of here in one piece.
another dead fool. What is a heart plus? Oh, a cred, a cred stick. Nice. Uh, fast go, fast go. Look at, I'm trying to... What is this? Emergency it's slate. Loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> so, it sounds like one of those creatures is loose in here. Is that what killed him? Alright, I need to see what this heart plus is. Case. Oh no, I need to do this again. Okay. Did it. 
Okay, I think the captain is gonna be up here. I knew what it means by transfer. Where, where am I transferring this to? Uh-oh. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Yeah, that's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Oh, no, you see. We weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Listen, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Listen, buddy. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. Doubt I could get away with those things. Um, the ship doesn't have anything on it. You're chasing a fairy tale. You're lying. We're getting what's on that ship. Look, you can come aboard the frontier right now. See for yourself. There's nothing on it. You, you mean that, don't you? You really haven't found anything on board. Look. Neither of us wants to risk the worst happening. No, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe we can work something out. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Yeah. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Um, I really wanted to kill them. All right, I, I guess we'll let them live. All right, so press to open my scanner, look for the map icon of my ship. We go and now what? Here we go. Captain Hill, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. To 
not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. Uh, yeah, so you say. Um, I think we need to explore the planet a little bit more. I'm not ready to leave yet. <laughs>